Warning, this podcast may contain content not suitable for children and may contain some adult language and situations that should not be repeated. And we advise that you receive parental permission before viewing. You have been warned. Welcome to the Blind Eye Podcast. I love how enthusiastic you are right now. (laughs) Don't even care right now. So tired. My name is Joshua Carling. Thank yeah. you for joining. I don't even know if it's picking him up because he's that quiet. Once right now. again, thank you for joining. Right on top of me is. Just, that didn't sound weird at all. Just name. Nami. Episode one or two. Name. It's Maddie over there next to Joshua Carling. Thank you. Next to me is Joshua Pena, and then. If you don't already know me from the other stuff that I do in the studio, my name is Matthew Kamor. Because you have a fucking voice for radio. So do you, though. <laughs> you have a voice for radio as I well. I can tweak my voice so that I can do that kind of stuff. What if we were to have a radio station? A, no. Just like other radio shows where they have the two uh, hosts, he could be one, I could be the other. He'd be like that. You mean like, like the fucking Carlos? Kevin and Bean? Fuck those guys, man. No, no, no. Like, like, like someone Carlos. good. Like who? Uh, who is good? Uh, what is it? Mark, like... Mark and Brian, did you listen to them on KLOS? No. Actual well, radio maybe, station, I think so, Josh. yeah. I, I was mean, a podcast. Most, well, most, of the, most of the radio stations that I listen to is, are, is like NPR, and they're, they all sound beautiful. I fucking hate it. I hate it so much, because they all just sound so gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> How can somebody sound gorgeous? Well, for one, for one it's instance, their voice anytime is liquid it's in gold. the middle of the day, or if it's at night, it's uh, BBC World News. They all sound... Beautifully British. And I it's fucking hate almost it. Beautifully therapeutic. British. Yes. Oh, okay. It's you almost should get therapeutic. a t-shirt that says that. Beautifully, Beautifully British? Beautifully British. They'd be like, are you British? You'd be like, no. no. Copyrighted I'm, patent pending. That is ours. Yeah. Do not I'm take that. <laughs> this is my first world an- uh, anarchy right here. I'm not British, but I'm advertising myself to be so. So fuck you. Because well, you <laughs> you're American. Fake, you can fake being British. I don't think anyone would be able to tell. No, Chris says that I have a terrible English accent and it demoralizes what? me every time. What about Scottish? No, she hates that also. She hates that worse, actually. Really? She had, I got, what is it? I got drunk at one of her um, college parties, <laughs> science <laughs> master's college parties, with, with it, but it's just like five people from her lab. That's how, that's how badass it gets. Yeah. Um, oh, five people. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, and they're all people science that majors, think you man. under the table. They're all biology master's uh, oh, majors God. and shit, and it's like the nerdiest fucking thing ever. Oh, but it's, it's kind of cute. Um, anyway. I got She's drunk. Adorable. I got drunk, and her lab uh, coordinator—not not coordinator, but like the head of her lab, yeah. which is who's a, who's a ten-year professor. His name is Carl. No, I shouldn't use his name, real name. No, okay. Benny. 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 Okay, his name is Benny. Yes. All right. So he was um, he was there also because he gets invited to all the parties also, and it just so happens that he's actually British. But oh. what? Well, but he doesn't sound British. At times he does, but he doesn't, he doesn't sound British all the time. It's he's like been the here, he's been here for two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I got drunk, and I was over the, over the over the months that I've known her because this was around the first uh, this was around the first year that I that I was going out with Chris uh, Chris um, I found out he's a dick. Really? He is a major. Fu- he doesn't take care of his lab. He doesn't help his his uh, his uh, what is it? his. I don't want, I want to say underlings. I'm still getting assistants. Yeah, no, not assistants. The They're social. part of his lab. He's, he's the head. Of the Associates lab. is a good one. All right, I guess. Associates. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's probably the best word you're gonna find right now. Right now, yeah. Um, but he doesn't help anybody. He's supposed to be their advisor. He's their lab advisor. That's what it's called. Okay. okay but what are they? <laughs> They're in the lab. They're, okay. It, to complete the to, to complete anyway, the story. Yeah. To complete the story. Um. What is it? He, he, I learned that he was a dick. I learned that he didn't help Kriska at all out with her masters or her defense at all when right. he was supposed to. And it just got me infuriated because I would get the, I would get the, the, the ass stick of it and be like, he didn't help me with this. Or the venting. Yeah. Yeah. But it was like constant. And I, not that I didn't mind getting vented to. It made me feel good. But I would just, I would got sick of how asshole this guy sounded like. Yeah. So I got drunk and I started making fun of him by you know doing uh, doing a British accent just out of nowhere to his face, and <laughs> I don't think I could ever look at him in the face anymore. It was it was just like really bad. Wow. Yeah. I, I, What'd you say? Do you remember? No, I don't. I, I called him Sir Sir uh, Sir Benny, I think. Oh, yeah. like oh, like his, his Sir name. Benny, I, 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 or something like that. As if right. you were a lord in, yeah. the, in the bureaucracy. Yes. 
That's hilarious. Sir Benny, could you please take care of that over there? It's, uh, it doesn't sound that bad. It, no, well, I don't know. If you practice on it, it sounds fun. more on the lines of uh, I know, yeah. Cockney yeah, a bit. than it does a high end. Like if it was to sound a little more proper, something like that. That's better. Yeah. I think it's closer. Yeah. But I think it's a bit of exaggeration. Just a little bit of an exaggeration. No, but now I think you're starting. When yeah, you see, do that, when well, you because do that, you know it what? It's funnier. It, or not, it's not funner. It's not funnier. It's, funnier. it's funner. There we go. To just play with you know the way that your tongue moves and shit. I feel like what? <laughs> Shut up. Uh, <laughs> can you make that sound? What the? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I can make all kinds of sounds. Let's <laughs> not. Let's not venture down this road. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. Okay. I'm still waking up. It's fine. This is funny. This My is great. coffee is across the room. I uh, got you. Ah! Topic you to the rescue. The topic oh, so for warm. this lovely, lovely podcast. Wait, is... there was a topic. There, there was? was a topic. Oh. There was. I thought we were having a good time talking about nothing. Yeah, thanks, thanks, I thought we were having a good time to making fun of Pina. Pina. Thanks to Pina mocking me. Yes. For my daydreams. Uh-huh. The topic for today Did is you what just is your. What is your fantasy house? Fantasy house. Like the perfect house you would stay in for the rest of your life. You're going last. Okay. How about he goes first because he wants to talk so much about yeah, it. Fucking, mm. Yeah, let him go first so I can catch up. He'll talk for like an hour though. I basically wanted to make a secret base. Or not secret base. It's not like a military. <laughs> We're not going to fight. Fucking, we got Dr. Evil here, man. Shush! <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and that sounds like ESPN. <laughs> no, anyway. that's not ESPN. That's Sports Center. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I want like a kind of facility inside the mountain that we live next to, right. and I want a area like a like a front, like a house that I could walk into on the street, and then go into a room, open a bookshelf, and then pressing a key code, go into an elevator that goes down, and then across, and then up into the mountain. And just, just, just for the, those that are listening, we live in the middle of the foothills, so it's we're right hills. next to a fucking mountain. We're in mountain. a valley. We're, we're, just, in, we're smack dab in the middle of the valley. Yeah. Just so a fucking giant hill next what to I us. want inside of this place is like my own mechanic shop. Okay. A pool, jacuzzi, spa, like the works. Just imagine a five-star hotel, okay. and then throw all the necessities of life on top of it and that's kind of what I want look for the bare necessities the simple bare necessities forget about your worries and your strife okay. anyway, so I would have that and also I was because now that we're in bot, uh, Blind Park uh, not Blind Eye uh, uh, Blind Eye Studios that one autopilot yep. I would want the opposite mountain to also be ours. This is where it came, this is where it came in. Yeah. Just, and have an elevator that goes down from that mountain, like a bit deeper, so it can go actually under the valley instead of across. Yep. To go under the valley and then come into the other mountain and go up and then have that whole facility be blind eye. Would this place be reinforced in case of, say, earthquake? He wants and, fucking. Uh, he wants a natural disaster. He wants fucking nuclear sh- war. I don't want people to think I'm some sort of twisted fuck that want pe- wants people to die. You're like that guy. Who I'm just, just I'm just agreeing you, with the ideal that 10 million people on this planet doesn't sound that bad. You, you, but <laughs> would it be reinforced from to everything. survive most everything? Yes. Blind. Including something that would happen, say, flash flood to the point where. We can't get out of the water. This place yes. is entirely submerged. Yes. Do you think we would be able to survive? Yes. Very tight. Self-sustaining. Mm. Self-sustaining. Yet, how would we continue to live on when we're underground, underwater? Fall out. Oh, God. But... With our collection of bottle caps over there. No! It's, but it's... it would only be us in this house. Yes. Yeah, you, you can't exactly have a civilization with just a select few people. No, you can't. But well, we at have some both point, male and at female. some we can point, make it work. at uh, some point in time, works. That's at too much. Some, that's that's not going how it at works. At some point in time, the floodwaters will recede. Okay, it, it, it's a natural disaster. It doesn't happen forever. At some point, the waters will go. And also, the way will... he's thinking about this, the actual house is on top of the mountain. You have I know, but to go we, up, we are so. still slight. We're only slightly above sea level, say mm-hmm. two thousand to five thousand feet above. Even so, there's a mechanic shop we can build a submarine. Oh, 
Like a little mini here's, style of mine. Here's mm-hmm. my yeah. counter argument to play devil's advocate. Okay, do it. And I'm not, it's not a great argument because I'm using a terrible movie adaptation of a possible post apocalyptic world. <laughs> okay. 2012. Oh. That, yeah. The only landmass that could barely survive Everest was Mount Everest in the Himalayas, and the only landmass to ever actually survive because it got raised up by the amount of water flooding the world was Africa. Everything else is submersed or destroyed due to earthquake, and therefore nothing can survive. So you would have to find a way to, if you do want to build this submarine, go to Africa. Yeah. The question is, though... How, though? The question is, how do you get from point A to point B being Africa if we're completely submersed and there's no act- physical way to exit out unless you were to build Whoa, this Well, no, 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 submarine. here's the question. What's the likelihood that that's going to happen? Well, that, well, Probably this the is, same likihood that he's actually going to build this, 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 this house. Obvi- this is all obviously under a, hypo- a huge hypothetical. I'm, I'm, would, I'm just playing devil's advocate at this, this point again. This whole entire conversation I would, is hypothetical. I would have a little mini sub to go find another sub. <laughs> now you're okay, just now you're, you're just pulling at hairs, man. You're both rolling there. into worlds of the mythical here now. This is, this is he's pulling into the mythical. This I'm being as realistic story as possible. Words. Motherfucker, this is this water is world. fucking story oh, words. It could it could <laughs> be water. water we're water, supposed water to be world. describing our dream house, not what the fuck would happen. To this, how we're gonna get to Africa when the world? No, he's floods. he's he's explaining how his dream house would be utilized. Practical anyway, anyway. How, it, how would you come to build this submarine? The, the, an engineer. No, I'm not an engineer. No, he wants, a, he wants a I room. Have, dude, he wants Jarvis. a room built specifically f- uh, for mechanical usage. Yeah. He's how would you come it. across building Jarvis? No, just Jarvis would be there. He's got AI already? Your yeah. dream house is to already you have, have a, a, subse- yes. a self-sustaining Fuck. AI of Jarvis and yes. be able to act as your assistant. Yes. Not the dream part of this dream house. Yes, welcome to the world of the 23rd century. 20, 23 and a half century. Do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I went there. Duck Dodgers. Anyway. We're doing it. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> was there anything else of this house that you wanted? Please, tell me more. How about you actually explain the Please, house sir, now? Uh, I would like some more. It's just very modern and stuff like that. It's... <clears throat> modern. Totally modern. Let it's think, not think, from it would, it would have, No. It would have like it's virtual from reality. It would have virtual reality and shit. It would have like all all like vacation needs like spa treatment stuff like that just to relax. It would have a giant pool so you can swim back and forth and get exercise. It would have a gym so you can get exercise. It would have a garden like a self-sustaining garden that can just grow food. Don't forget cannabis. The, the no, cannabis. No. It yes. makes me paranoid. I love it. No. Again, all in time of the 23rd and a half century. Yes. Woo! Anyway. Oh. I think... Please is, silence. Is there I'll anything suffer. else that you would like to... Uh, no, let, let him continue. No, no that's that, what I'm no, asking. That's, is that's that, a, that's that a rough summary. A rough summary? Yeah. That's a rough summary. All right. Just basically a self-sustaining base under the mountain that no one can disturb me. And uh, I'd have a battery that never ran out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is all hypothetical. It is hypothetical, but it because it has a tie of reality and realism to it. You can't have a battery that doesn't run out. There is a battery that only needs to be charged every five years. Yes, but it but still so loses energy. There. No, it still loses energy, which means you must charge it. Yes. Therefore, it has a certain limit of power. Solar panels. I just have solar panels. You were underwater, about. remember? Yeah. Not underwater. underwater. That's in the solar post-apocalyptic powers. wasteland. Oh, solar, pa- solar panels can only charge up to a certain amount. Yes, you'll have a, a surplus of energy. He needs these solar panels from the Sahara movie, where they're like just a whole no. shit ton, like in a circle. Do you realize how many and how big solar, how yes. big a solar how panel you need? Yes. Yes. Do you realize that I'm talking about hypothetical situations? Yes. Okay, which, but, but again, battery oh, hold on, again. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. This fantasy this house. This is completely fantasy. I know, but you said your 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 spark for this was like if I won the lottery. It was like one of those things. No, if I had a wish. Oh, if you had a wish. Yes, I but could get myself mid sentence while oh, we were walking. All right. But again, when it comes to certain fantasy uh, topics, as this, there is a sense of realism to it because you do want this to exist at some point or another in one way, shape, or form. 
it may not be to this it, elaborate extent, uh, thing yeah. to you want. You can still pick and choose what you want. However, there are certain things within the realm of reality that you just can't have. I want a pink elephant in my bedroom. A pink elephant? Yeah, yeah exactly. Get an elephant, get a well, I'm talking about pink pink. The, the, the reality of it, he can't go to that degree. That's, yeah, what, that's what yeah. I'm trying to say. And that's that's you what get an I'm elephant. Arguing. You bring it into the room, get when pink he said, spray paint, when, and just paint it. Shut the fuck. <laughs> when he said, but it's not a pink elephant. It is an elephant. It's close enough. No, it's not. There's a difference between a pink elephant and an elephant painted pink. Yeah, there is. <laughs> A pink elephant is an elephant. It's deteriorating. This, this yeah. conversation is deteriorating. We a just... little bit. Because we're, we're arguing about your fucking dream yeah. house. What is your fantasy house? Mine Oh, God. All right. Matt, go first. I oh, want to live comfortably. I do not ask for much. I'd never ask for much. And therefore, my house will probably be very similar to mine. Treat However. Yourself. Treat yourself. However. The only difference right now would probably be have a larger backyard for... I don't know, set up a lawn for uh, play, like, I don't know how big the yard would be, uh, l large enough to play certain, like, games or sport like uh, baseball. things. Not baseball, not that big. Uh, just, I don't know how, I'm trying to think of dimensions. Moving on, um, I'll have a pool. The pool will be on the side, so you'll have, like, the lawn here, you'll have the back porch or deck. Deck? Yeah, deck. All right. I'll have a... Oh, oh. I can have a deck. I'll have the lawn out, out over the... Looking over from the, the deck. I'll have the pool over here. Maybe a jacuzzi. And, I don't know, maybe a, like a side garden with like a brick, like a hedge type thing that borders mm -hmm. the lawn. Uh, Two-story, maybe three-story. Most likely not three-story. What about a basement? I can have a basement. That's technically three stories. It'll be uh, ground floor, first floor, second floor. Uh, the basement would be big enough for both storage and, I don't know, uh, say, like, gym hardware, uh, machines and so on. Uh, first floor would be the bathroom, uh, master bedroom, kitchen, living room, dining room. Second floor would be uh, guest room, bathroom. It, it's, I don't want anything too extravagant. Uh, extravagant. I just want something that will... Provide me with everything that I need and everything that I would want. In my defense, for my elaborate 2,500 year house, the topic isn't your dream house, it's your fantasy house. So, And a fantasy house will be very nice and very, I guess you can say ornate due to certain uh, molding and whatever. Yeah. I can have, I could have that house down that street and be able to be Perfectly happy with myself. You know the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Which one? There's one right in there next to that uh, supermarket complex with the Ralphs and it's whatever. It's like three, it looks like a three uh, story house. Yeah. The garage is the first floor above the, the like, garage. Yeah, I guarantee it. Looks nice. it. Oh, it looks nice. It looks nice. If I really wanted to, I can have a room dedicated nothing but video games and uh, similar to what Dustin has for his setup, yeah. where you have multiple TVs, I can have some, I could have an anime playing on this screen. On this screen, I can be playing Smash Brothers. On this screen, I could be watching TV, and then having <laughs> other no, other nonsense things going on. No Basically, game, no life. You're just playing all three games at once. No, just I can pick and choose which one I want. Uh, if I'm playing a game, I can pause, watch the episode of the anime that I'm watching, uh, click that. Have one room dedicated to uh, just being a nerd. Have maybe a bookshelf and shit for all the comic books I'm eventually going to read and collect. <laughs> All the other books that I've read and will eventually read, because there are a few that I want to read but never got to it. Who reads anymore? I do. Um, it was well, a joke. I uh, use Audible. What is it? Board games and shit? Yes. Have a shelf for that. Uh, I don't know. Oh. I can have a VR room if I wanted to. She beat me at Monopoly a couple days ago. Hey, all right. <laughs> the undefeated master, apparently. I beat you the other day. <laughs> uh, no, I, I really think that's it. I don't... I don't have any, like, huge dreams of what my house would be like, or what my house, what I want my house to be like. You already so. said it, never mind. Hmm. They're a linker. That's all I would want. Really, that's Give all me. I would want. Give it to me. I would take it off every once in a while so that I don't get the stupid tan line, but, you know. Yeah, that was funny. 
<laughs> like she takes a bath. Oh, when you tan, it's like you have a tan line. You motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that I just want to be able to live comfortably and be satisfied with what I've been able to provide myself with this house. Fair enough. Pina, are you ready yet? Or oh, it's my turn. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I hope I gave you some ideas. No, you didn't. I didn't think so. <laughs> you made it worse. Because, <laughs> <laughs> well, you went over the top. You went uh, um, mildly. He, yeah. We were as if the two opposites of the same spectrum. Bro, get yeah. on my level. <laughs> oh, God. I, I really don't want to get on here. I don't want to mind. No, if you really wanted to go... If you want an island, like no. a secluded island. If you oh, really no. wanted to go all out nonsense... Yes, space station. Oh, God. I was, <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of the watchtower. That's the, a space station. The Watchtower. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got, I got you now. No, it took me a second. It just took me. Either a second. that, or the Fortress of Solitude. Uh, no, no, no. I take that back. Yeah, no. Bat Cave. There I was go. gonna say Bat Cave, but I'm like, it's so dark down there. I would like, I would like the because Wayne Manor. Because it dark. I mean, and then the Bat Cave. In there. there are <laughs> lights in there. He just doesn't turn them on. There's fluorescent yeah, lights, man. It's fucking wasting so much electricity. LEDs. What the fuck is he thinking? Yeah. There you go. Sure. LED. Oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe. He probably uses LEDs. Oh, he's fucking oh. Oh. Too. Wayne Manor, Batcave. There. I would want the comic book version of the Wayne Manor and the Batcave. There okay. you go. There you go. You want that? No. No, that's not what I want. What do you want? Um, I there's a couple. If of, you really wanted to go fantastical, sorry. There's a couple of uh, what is it, abandoned breweries that are over in downtown LA that I heard got converted into what is it apartment buildings. I would fucking evict all those people and just take that entire building for myself. I want a bar. You want a bar? I want a speakeasy. It's, it's not nineteen. What is it? Nineteen twenty-five. They're still around. It's not a. It's not the prohibition it's, it's, anymore. Yeah, yeah it's but like I, no. I want a bar that you has know what? a little you secret area. You want area. speakeasy? Everybody call him fucking hipster. Hipster, bro. <laughs> you do know that there's a. Is it wrong to like secret? Parts? There's, dude. There's no. A, if you want a fucking, if you want a secret room to like a lair that's down below by moving a bookshelf or. Moving a book on a bookshelf or like the head off of a statue, yeah. fucking go for it. But don't lead it to something as useless as a bar. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it as a bar. You see, I liked your original idea. Yes. Your original layout. But then, it was it was secret like entryway to a double basement. Mm. There was like two floors in the basement. One floor it had a bowl like a private bowling alley and that, a little bar. That is my and dream the, house. Mm -hmm. That is one. If I got enough money, I can actually build. Yeah. That would be. What I want is just have one basement, but have that basement lead to a couple other basements, and then have those be... Those technically exist. People are trying to build those underground bunkers for such things as a nuclear holocaust. Yeah. Uh, okay. to, to quickly go back to your uh, secret passage type thing before I forget my thought, mm -hmm. there is a bar, I believe in downtown, that is in an alleyway that the door is a literal refrigerator door. Yeah. You walk in it, go through. It's a speakeasy. It's a bar. It's a, that would be it's a, a definition of a speakeasy. Yeah. They have them everywhere. There's one in Vegas. There's one at Disneyland. There's like. But a they're bunch. just. But they're just bars. I, yeah, yeah. They're I, speakeasies. Technically speaking, they are speakeasies. No, but people know where know about them, and it's not. It's it's they, common they knowledge. They speakeasies are meant to be underground. Yeah, if you already know where it is, and it's like a novelty thing, or if it's like a tourist attraction, it loses the definition. The, of the refrigerator door is it's the novelty. It's an invitation. You could just change the state of mind. It used to be a speakeasy. Did you do the history on that place? No. Yeah, actually. Oh, wait, was it an actual speakeasy? Yeah. Then well, it used to be it. a speakeasy. Okay, so now that now it's a most of the speakeasies invitation. that are still operational, that are like those novelty speakeasy kind of things, is novelty. You were there you go. It, they used to be speakeasies that just never went out of business. Okay, change my answer. That yes. was a dream. That was a dream house essentially. I would I would have uh, I would own a abandoned brewery and make it into living quarters. Okay. Um, colony on Mars. Oh. Yes. Okay. But after it was civilized. Oh. Uh, what is so after it was like so like Cowboy Bebop or something like that. Yeah. You'd want to live on Mars and Cowboy Bebop. I would want to live on no, not Cowboy Bebop because it was kind of like decrepit and like almost Vegas. Well, like, something a little guys. more like a whole fucking planet. That's yeah. Just all it was like the Mexico of all the <laughs> <laughs> of the solar system. <laughs> Have you guys read? No, I'm, like, I'm Mexican. I don't give a fuck. Have you guys read the Martian Chronicles by Ray Bra uh, Ray Brad yes. Bradbury? Yes. No. 
would you consider that a possible possible uh, outcome by colonizing Mars? Mars? Yes. Okay. That, that that's one rendition. I cannot of, wait. Of a Mars Read the Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury, the yep. same person that wrote Fahrenheit 451. Okay. See, our, wait, wait, I actually wait. love that book. Yeah, and you'll most likely love this oh, oh. series of stories. It's not. It's sort of written in kind of like a journal sense, where it's different stories that are connected well, through a chronology. Yeah. Yes. The Martian. So that. Uh, thank you for. I want to see that. Yeah, you saw the trailer for it, right? So the Martian? much hype. Yeah. Holy shit. So much I hype. I actually don't know anything about that. The fucking. When we're uh, done Matt, with this, look Matt, at the trailer. That's Matt Damon. Is it Matt Damon? Matt, Matt, no, wait. It's not Wal- It's not Mark Wahlberg. Matt no, it's Matt Damon. It's Matt Damon. Damon. It's Matt Damon. Yes. It's Matt Damon. Matt Damon is an astronaut who gets left behind on, on Mars, Mars, and he has to survive on his own. Oh, I might have heard of it. I don't remember seeing the trailer. So though. much hype! All right. Every you know, time it comes on the screen, to me, like when me and Matt are watching the movie, I'm just like death preparing. I'm like, yes. Is it gonna be kind of like an alien type thing? No, 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 no. no. It's, it's natural disaster. It is, it's, it's, it's like cast away. It's natural disaster on Mars, and then the rest of the crew leaves him behind, and he winds up being able to signal them, letting them know that he's still alive. It is a scientific... So he has to survive for the next, like, four years till they but come But does that mean... Uh, it's a scientific version of Castaway on Mars. But is it already as if the uh, Mars planet has been no. colonized? No, no, no. 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 It's Colonize, a mission sorry. to Mars. It's a mission to Mars. It's and like... the mission had to be aborted because of a storm. Yeah. I like this because no alien. I what? like it. Yeah, like, I like it because there's no alien. It's 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 an actual scenario. It, yeah, it's a plausible it's scenario. Not, it's like one of the first few trips to actually being able to land on Mars. And there not be an alien. Yes. Yeah. So it's just him on the red planet by himself. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. How he has, is, oh, and he has to survive. That is interesting. How would he survive with so much? Food? Exactly. He has, he has little. He has little supplies. Like they have seeds. The mission right. was to colonize Mars. Right. Let me let me let me finish my thought. Yes. Uh, what is it? I guess. Um, uh, colonize Mars, that's where I want to live. Second uh, follow-up answer, or what is it, runner-up uh, answer, the Citadel from Mass Effect. The Citadel? Okay. Yes. All right, I got you. There you go. It's like a giant space station that has artificial gravity. However, I think both of these have common attributes, little yeah. to no people. No, the Citadel I mean, pretty The Citadel, popular. yeah, it has probably a million people, maybe I 10 I feel million. like a little more than that. Or 10 million. All right, so that's you, only a little more. You'd be comfortable with ten million people on this planet, then? There's six billion on this one. Seven. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, it went up. Yep. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I'd be because fine. population. Because you because see, now people because, are because hold on, hold on, no, because <laughs> there's traffic going in and out. That's why it's it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, uh, utopian trade uh, trade. Uh, what is it? Facility where what is it's it? Uh, people come in, people come out. I see new people every week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 10 million, I don't care, in, it's alright. In your defense, okay. Yeah. Your ankle is like buried yeah. into my thigh. There we go. Alright. All right. Awkward silences be awkward. Maddie! Oh, you saw it? What? In the video? What? Oh! Did you like it? He loved it! You he loved was, it? He was, it was laughing. It was funny, yeah. That was my yeah. idea. Oh, what, what? Cut in the... In, there's a part... That I'm, I don't I can't say it out loud, but there's a part, an audio clip that Pina asked me to remove. Oh no, no wait, wait, about the in Resident Evil. Yeah. Oh, I must have skipped over it because I was making sure that the entire thing you can watch. Yeah, like, no, there's a happen. part when you start saying like I you start actually, talking about how no, you haven't no, been sleeping. Don't spoil it. Told, no, don't no, spoil no, it. He, he told me. Don't yeah, spoil he it. He told me. It by was, it by was the my time, idea. by <laughs> the time that this podcast has already come out and released on our channel, it'll be like you'll Resident like Evil. Let's play Resident Evil Four. Part two, let's play, will have already been out, and if people have seen that one, then they'll already know. So I'm sort of breaking the fourth wall. It's kind of being meta right now, but I yeah, he already told me okay, about he this. Wants he wants to be Deadpool. He does ago. it all the time. Well, no, it's within the timeline that we're going. We're recording these no, things. I know, but it's just we record these things later so that we can upload them later than they were actually put up. So yeah. by the time we're recording our next ep- episode, it's like, uh, what do we talk about? What happened last episode? Type thing. Oh. We're putting these up later, so it's kind of we need to play catch up type fucking thing. Fucking time travel, man! It's a form of time travel. Anyway, <laughs> your fantasy house, Atlantis, no, I'm scared. Really? What? Yeah. Really? I, I, Maybe I don't know. That'd be cool. Wait, all right. Which one? Um, Jar Jar Atlantis without Jar Jar. Oh, that that alien race. Yeah. You know the alien race race that Jar Jar Binks yes. is a part of. 
he wants that type of world where they sort of live in like a bubble. Bubble. They look giant bubbles. I'd rather have Atlantis Lost Empire. The animated. The animated movie mm-hmm. with uh, Milo. Mm. Milo. And I Milo. wouldn't mind. Ooh, I I wouldn't mind the uh, the Atlantis in DC. It's too Triton. <laughs> <laughs> There's too much Triton. I don't like it. It's Get rid of him. Take him down. It's too pointy. I wouldn't mind figuring out what it's like to be a merfolk. Merfolk? Mm-hmm. I don't, keep my don't, legs, though. The no, male, they keep their legs. Oh, the, yeah, but don't the males... No, no, I'm, I'm thinking like mermen. Yeah. yeah. Merfolk are just like... They have gills and certain uh, webbing. In, uh, but they still hands have and feet. legs. Yeah. Do they, they still have... have uh, Wait, yes. hold on. She hasn't yes. given her answer yet. Yes. Where, 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 where would you dream, yes. uh, fantasy house want to be? I don't have a fantasy house. I like just came up with a dream house. I'm not at that level of oh, dreaming okay. yet. Here, here's a question. Would you like to live in Hogwarts? The castle uh, that is the school of Hogwarts? Yes. No. I it, it, it doesn't look like there's electricity in it. <laughs> there's not. It's magic. Like, magic! I, yeah. No, fuck that. No. It's like all candles. So because you're magic, do you get like fucking Wi-Fi up to the... You literally the... have a wand that can double as a flashlight. <laughs> I want internet though. God damn it. <laughs> I don't like the... you. No, the what is it? Magic cannot manipulate internet. Fuck that. I will not believe that. Wi-Fi. No. <laughs> I don't like the constant moving staircases. That's the one thing I don't like. What? The constant moving staircases. Yeah, I that's, get, that's that gets maddening. so fucking annoying. So, so it's not not hard words. What urban designer decided to come Although up with that? Oh, you'd think it would be. They it sit was, here wearing sporting one supposed, of my Harry Potter t-shirts. The idea t-shirts. for that was to confuse in. Potential intruders and whatever. It's like, oh, I would put that on after school hours, not see, during. You know, that's when that's when weird because the stairs had like a mind of their own. They yeah. led, they led Harry. No, it was. It, I wouldn't say it was on a timing sequence, but it would change on a uh, specific sex. Uh, I want to say section. Like every so on, it would switch from here to here, here to here. It wasn't as if it had a mind of its own. It was yes, bewitched, but it was timed. Hmm. Please correct me, Miss. Uh, they don't really go Harry over Potter it too fan. much. It's more so. It's like, as far as I can remember, it seems more so that it they are, they do have minds of their own. But it is like a timing. Like they set the timing for when they start changing. So it is on a timer almost, but it's like because I do a remember, self-proclaimed timer. Because I do remember in the first book and in the mo- movie they're going up one of the staircases and it moves part way through and it moves as they're traveling up the staircase which so. doesn't happen again throughout the next seven years yes because they never have to it's exactly n- well it's, it's because it's never talked about ever again yeah just like everything else like the uh what is it in prisoner of azkaban the the the, the time necklace thing. So it's not brought up. Time turner. Time yeah, turner. It's not brought up again until. Again. I love. In the book, in the book, she returns it to Professor McGonagall because she doesn't want to take so many classes again. It was too much pressure on. Right. Oh. On Hermione. So there is actually a reason why it doesn't come up again throughout the rest of the series. Yeah. Which right. is her returning it for no longer needing it. Like Professor McGonagall should still have it though. Professor McGonagall and Professor Dumbledore had to work out this big elaborate thing with the Ministry of Magic to get it for her because of how many classes So I'm she guessing took. when she so returns to compl- Professor McGonagall, she, she returns, returns to the Ministry, Ministry of Magic. Ministry of Magic, yeah. So it goes so back into whatever magical time lock vault that it has. Fuck the Ministry of Magic for putting laws on time travel because you could fix everything in Harry they Potter. They were already corrupted, You could fix they? everything in Harry Potter. Yeah, I know, but that's cheating, isn't it? It's, that's, that's... It's not stupid. It's game balance. It's kind like of, yeah. um, monologue. Yeah. Don't monologue. Totally Just kill the guy. Pathfinder has Murpho. I Oh, yeah. You started playing Pathfinder. No. Apparently. Uh, oh, what happened? No, no, no. Their session zero was oh, okay. this past Tuesday. I worked at the time that they were having their session to build oh, their characters. Dude. And apparently they had enough time after building their characters that they had their first like mini session. It was only maybe an hour long. So they ha- they're having another session possibly this Tuesday again. When I'm working, he said that one of his friends decided to be a barbarian merfolk person. Yeah. So he put he invested all of his points and whatever into climbing. Yeah. So just imagine that a barbarian mermaid person <laughs> putting a lot of his emphasis on climbing. Yep. 
Let's. I can't. Be the it's probably fuck. gonna be one of those. All I, one of those I entered. I things. entered that conversation. I, barbarian it's a barbarian merman who's really good at climbing. I could. That is so fucking useless. <laughs> That's yeah. what makes it funny. It's the, gonna my be... friend who's the GM, which is a uh, game master. Game master instead of dungeon master, which is it's whatever. Uh, he was just like, you know, what, all right, let's go with it. And apparently, there's a lot of interesting and really funny combinations that you can have in Pathfinder. Yeah. I've actually. Pathfinder uh, is the fan fiction version of Dungeons and Dragons. Thank you. What is it? Yeah. Pathfinder. The pa- apparently Pathfinder is ba- based off three point five. For that, you. All right. Pathfinder so sh- is apparently based off three point five. I decided to be just as a. Th- I decided to be a fetchling cavalier. So she okay. doesn't have a fantasy house. She has a dream house. Something that's actually plausible. So okay. what is that? I, I just learned What's the, the dream thing, so... And oh, one's okay. plausible, one's holy fuck, dude, you're in space. Fuck if... Yeah, it's, it's space. Compl- it's, it's not possible unless either we're like thousands of years into the Potential future... Potential science, fuck yeah. Or you have a wish. Dream houses are the ones that if you had enough money or time, you could actually have that. So yeah. yours would probably... I really be don't see the difference. Fantasy can still be dream. Back cave... The house oh, you oh, oh, you're The right, distinction you're right. we're trying to make is a fantasy house is something that you would have to have magic to actually be able to do. Where a dream house is something that you can't achieve. Fantasy you can't achieve. That's what we're it's like, using it's like as a differentiation. Fiction right now. and real life. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what we're using as a differentiation for right now. So but you probably should have made that at the beginning of well, the podcast. Well, I didn't know it had to be explained. Well, You're the only one who would think to make that distinction. fantasy. It's fantasy. Yeah, but Most fantasy, people's fantasy house dream are fantasy, their dream fantasy, house because be they dream. won't be able to achieve it. And a fantasy can still be tied into reality, which is why I chose the house that I chose. Okay, okay. So fantasy... Fair enough. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, so your dream house would be... A cabin in the middle of the woods. <laughs> I understand why, <laughs> like what she's trying to say is just... Take out all the shit that's in the basement so you don't have to worry about that stuff later. It's like, uh... I haven't seen that movie. Well, the it's Cabin in the you? Woods? Yeah. It's what's wrong with you? No, me, I've seen it. Yeah, what's wrong with you? I've told her to see the it. The Cabin in the Woods? It's like funny as hell! Just sit her down and have her she watch it! She doesn't want to watch okay. it. Okay, so... Fucking... You know how... Some, I don't know. You know how all... Horror movies have those cliches of like the. the I know woman he's explained it to okay. me like twenty times it's already, a and he wants me to watch it. But horror films. I don't. I, I swear to God, it's like the adult version of what is it? Not Scream. that adult, but you know the more mature version of Scooby Doo. I know we're over. I know we're so much over. How much? I'm just making sure that it's it's it it's saying that we're hitting a thirty-seven minute mark. Are you? Are you? I blame you. I don't know. It's just arguments that we had. That's what took it over. <laughs> anyway, when you started. It made for good. It made for good. Water. Made for good uh, like chemistry. Yeah. No, that's not the word I was thinking. You guys have chemistry. Good content. Yeah. Good they, content. Thank you. That's the word I was like. Good content. <laughs> I saw. Any, I could hear the. Uh, ca, 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 so. Ca, ca, ca. Ah, is that it? <laughs> just is that it? It's. What's, there's a little more and shush. Make sure it's that. my dream house. Yeah, Shut but the I fuck have up. it memorized. <laughs> Cause I drew a picture. Yeah. It's it's Cute literally picture. it's a little log cabin, maybe at most two stories. That's kind of my extravagant version of it. It's in a little clearing in the middle of a really crowded wood, with like a little stream kind of running through it. Okay. It it's my happy place. Okay. So and it's like on the inside. It's just got a couple of little rooms. It it has some electricity, but not a lot. I actually wouldn't have internet. I would rely mainly on my books, and it would be kind of a really nice, peaceful place, but... Hipster. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. I am kind of a hipster. I knew he would, I knew he would enjoy that. Yeah. I'm glad you did. Sorry. Continue. Do you not like But you hipsters? see, the thing is, no, is that they, it they, would they be... No, they can all die. I don't care. I'm a hipster. Oh, well... It's my girlfriend! How dare you? I'm only a little bit of a hipster, so it's a... I'm like wannabe hipster, I think. Oh god. No, it's not it's not like gosh, to the What's worse than a hipster? A don't do hipster. it. You're it's a loser. Not, it's not like to the level of hip, hipster girl and gamer girl. No. It's not oh, that level. No. No, no that's the level he's talking about. Oh yeah, no. But no, you see the th- kind of the catches with mine, it would be in the middle of nowhere, so I would be able to be by myself, but it would also be only a couple hours away from civilization. 
So I would be able to, like, get in a truck or something and drive to an actual town if I wanted to be around people. You know this is very much like of a place for me to be alone by myself. What does it kind of sound like? kind of sounds like NorCal. North Carolina or North, North, Cal- North, yeah. North, North California. California. Yeah. It's called NorCal. Just yeah. like Southern California is called SoCal. I, I actually want to live in NorCal. There's a lot of open space in NorCal. It's a lot of farmland. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Except for maybe like Sacramento, uh, what is it? Uh, I would San Francisco, yeah. San Jose. They got a lot of that green up there. They do. Yeah, I would want to live somewhere a few hours Cal? outside of yeah. San Fran maybe? so okay. that I can still go yeah, to yeah, the big city there, when I want to. Yeah, as long as there's electricity like the and internet. Oh, of course but there is. I like the big city, but I like being alone a lot of the time, too. Oh, you know what? Instead of that, um, Oregon. Oregon, too, yeah. Kind of. Most of those northern places. Also, I really like cold and rainy weather. Vancouver. Yeah. You. Yeah. And I also like Four Seasons, so I've had a lot of people tell me to like go to Vermont. Go to Whistler. It's just outside of Vancouver. It's like mm-hmm. a small little village. So freaking beautiful, dude. Yeah. I, I was there, like, I don't know, when I was younger, probably somewhere around 10 years ago. During the summer, oh my god, it's so nice up there. So good. People, people in here Canada, so people in Vancouver, Whistler, good job on you. It I looks hate good. it here. I hate it here. It sucks. We have summer all year round. And yeah. then it rains. And then a moody winter that <laughs> doesn't know what it feels anymore. It's like, you're hot, you're cold. You're hot, you're cold. You're hot, you're cold. I don't know what to feel anymore. You're hot and cold. Yep. Like what raining in oh, 100 yeah. degree raining. I, that I like that summer rains. That last week. Oh I, my god, Last sticky. week it was like oh, raining so all week. So sticky. Shit. We almost died in, in the freaking mountains, dude. It was, it was a point in time where I couldn't see where I was driving. I started screaming. Dude, the rain just started pouring. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny because the, uh, it was that Sunday that you guys had the D&D mm. session. Mm-hmm. Um, I was working with Anthony, and he said he had his windows down. Yeah. And it was heavy pouring. And he's like, fuck, wanna let me go outside. Let me open close my windows please he's like she's just like nah you got work like please nah please you okay okay fine <laughs> <laughs> like just inter- entertain the thought for just maybe 10 seconds yeah and then he came back and he was just drenched dude it was hilarious yeah was i funny. had to go through like the, you know how i have that uh rain gutter on the side of my house it's mm-hmm. broken mm-hmm. so it pours straight down mm-hmm. like right next to i had to door. go through that three times just to get everything. You did not have to. You could have gone around. I could have gone through and backed the car up, but it. Mm, at yeah, that time, I wanted to go, go, go. I yeah. think with that, that would be to an actual good. end. Yeah. Do, we have the, do you have the thing? I do have the thing. I'll pull it up real quick. Okay. Yeah. What, 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 it's the outro script. Uh, final thoughts while I pull it up. Uh, uh, win the lottery uh, already. Let's do it. I would love my I'd dream want house. Walk that mountain. Yep. <laughs> But uh, the fantasy is never going to happen, not unless I you have, find a genie or something. Yeah, no. if I you would got, like if, to move into Josh's please, dream house. Please. That's just what I would do. I'm too much of a housewife to have my own opinion anymore. If oh, God, anyone, no, don't, if don't, anyone, I am, I am a housewife. Don't do it. Finds a genie. Don't do it. Or a genie it. bottle, or some way to have a wish. Stop. Take out your phone. Call me. Oh, I'm, I'm not even going to do that. Just to spite you, I wouldn't do that. Uh, can I have a Coke? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be that guy when you're just about to wish for that one thing. I interrupt and like, I wish for a sandwich. I wish for panties. It's like, oh, oh yeah. Panties. Yeah. Anyway. Outro. Let's now see. comes the t- part of the podcast that's actually scripted. Ah! Woo. That was scripted, too. Yeah. That wasn't scripted. That was totally <laughs> scripted. You won't know. Yeah. All right, thanks, you guys, for joining us for the Blind Eye Podcast. Uh, can, you you guys... hold the, can you hold it like that so you can talk at it? I'm, I... <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's got, he's radio, man. He's, I am, he's, he's, he's I am. Doing. Welcome to News Radio. Hello, and welcome to After Hours. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, can we uh, thanks that? again no. for joining us for this episode of the Blind Eye Podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed this incredible rant of an episode. Oh, my God. Uh, if you guys enjoyed some of it, if not all of it, be sure to let us know in the comment section below. If you guys thought we missed out on something that could have been potentially interesting to have in a future fantasy house, <laughs> be sure to let us know. If you like what you heard, uh, hit the like button. Uh, we keep up content weekly on our channel, so be sure to subscribe. 
We have Let's Play videos, weekly news updates, and other projects currently in the works, so be sure to check them out. We also have a Facebook and Twitter, so be sure to check those out for future events that we will be hosting, say our monthly Smash Brothers tournament. Uh, and with that, my name is Matt. And I'm, I'm Josh. Josh. <laughs> you motherfucker. I'm fucking next to him. What? 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 Who's first? Me. This is Josh Pena, Joshua Kong, and I'm Maddie Harden. Now let's get the F out of here. We're hungry. All right. Thank you for joining us on this. Bye. Bye.